A madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in, once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And since you've been doing right by me, I'll continue to keep it. No reports, nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. You shouldn't see me as an adversary. Convince Gordon of that, and things will go smoothly. Fine, I'll extend an olive branch if that's what it takes to make you happy. Gordon's a stubborn old mule. But I haven't shown the height of diplomacy myself. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. I know when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. It's the mask that fits best at the time. Tactical. Now you're speaking my language. What the oh. hell? <laughs> Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons. This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Then go already. Let's move, people. This is what we train for. There's been an attack in the financial district. Biotech company on the west side is under siege. Got what you came for. You don't need me. Well, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your 
usefulness and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. We'll keep running your mouth and maybe I'll splatter you all over the wall. Got no use for a talking bitch. I don't know, 10 or 12 maybe? The really big one, he, he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. No, I didn't want to, I, I swear. It's okay, get out of here, now. Thank you, Batman. Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just about. All right, I'll make it one more round. Hurry it up. yourself. But you can call me Bane. <laughs> a man cannot win a war alone. Fight well, but if you fight alone, you will die alone. <laughs> see why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead? Riddler? You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint them. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro prison. And there, even the fiercest of men were often subdued driven mad by brutal hours of cold, dark desolation. But not me! No! <laughs> it's different when you are born into it. This one is mine. still alive, that you still have a chance to live, <laughs> it's lying to you. <laughs> 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 
Batman! Batman! And say something if you can hear me! Gordon... Christ... Batman... Come on, help me! It won't move! Batman, we're gonna need you to help us push this thing off you. Come on! You can do it! It's moving! The entire GCPD arsenal raided? Every single armored personnel carrier stolen? With those and the hardware they stole? Christ! I didn't want to think about it. I just want to know who these sons of bitches are! There's only one of them that matters. He called himself Bane. His men loaded the weapons onto the APCs. Said they were taking them to a warehouse near the docks. They need to be found. I'm already taking orders from Waller. Well, I gotta take it from you, too? So that's how it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim. But the city will be in danger if you don't. <sighs> I'll, uh, see what I can do. Put whatever manpower we can spare on a search for those armored vehicles. In the field and watching CCTV feeds. Yes, sir. You know, I'm still mad as hell at you. Why? Interrogating that Riddler goon without my damn consent. I only agreed to work with you because I thought you were a man of principle. 
Someone who wanted to step out of the shadows and into the light. I don't know what's going on with you and Waller, but you've changed. It's like I don't even know who you are anymore. Waller, she has something on me. Jesus, Batman, what? No, wait, tell me later. I've already got enough to worry about. I'm glad you called me with this. Good to know this partnership still means something. But I won't lie, we've still got a ways to go. <sighs> right on time. I'll get to the Batcave, see if I can make some sense of what happened tonight. So, what did I miss? I was at the scene of a heist at the Gotham brokerage house when Batman called me here. What were they after? We're still getting a full account. Once the dust settles, I'll send you everything we've got. Detective Bullock's writing up a full report. I'll have him send you a copy. Officers are ready for your deployment orders. I've got to get going. Your partner, Avesta. How is she? Still in the hospital. And doctors say the hearing damage could be permanent. Damn it, it should have been me. I failed her. I put her in danger. It's my fault. The blame for what happened to Avesta rests with Riddler, not you. That's nice of you to say. Look, I owe you one for saving my life back there. So I gotta warn you. Waller flipped when she heard you called Gordon instead of her. You really should stay on Waller's good side for as long as you can. For everyone's sake. I'll tell Avesta you asked about her. Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. Fine. Really. You are not fine, Bruce. <sighs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. But I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. It wasn't a great time for me either. <sighs> I know. We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we... we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce, trying to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died, in too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. It's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. Bane is running free out there. He's just getting started. That's what frightens me, Bruce. We've never seen this kind of destructive power before. 
Waller was right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good, thanks. Huh. There's still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight, all at the same time. Let's bring him up, get an assessment of the damage. Gotham brokerage, 10 million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied, contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene. Dressed up as a clown and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. Gothcorp Labs, Genetic Research Facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes, I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. The others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they'd want that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Guns? Money? Biotech? What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them, that would be suicide in your current condition. Of course I could use help. But both the GCPD and the Agency are stretched thin. One thing's for sure. We can't just wait around for Bane to strike again. The death toll is already too high. You told Waller you knew when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. I'll have to repay John's trust with betrayal. You wouldn't have to betray him if he didn't associate with criminals. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. I'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. Bruce Wayne has influence, an endless bank account, and as of last year, questionable integrity. Everything a criminal network looks for in a new recruit. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Good thing you hid that tracking device on him when you had the chance. The stack deck, that's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. That 
Batman. I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, he's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Really, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Yeah, okay. It feels... No, Willie, he's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of... Sh oh, uh, <laughs> I am... Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh... Uh... I'm gonna ignore what I heard. No harm done. <laughs> you set me up. Nonsense! Bruce! Uh, uh, don't mind Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Hey, John. What about my medicine? The bottle's under my chair, Willie. I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. A tracker, Bruce? Really? <sighs> I gotta say, I'm disappointed. I thought we'd built more trust between us. Wasn't sure I could trust you, John. You were more than a little erratic at the funeral, and, and it was important to me that I find the Riddler. And, you know, you were my only lead. Okay, I, I guess that makes sense. It's rude, duplicitous, and invasion of my privacy-like, but it makes sense. So, that rude know-it-all really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am I? You're a rotting, murder, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? hated the guy, but... Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? I don't know, John. The way you were talking about him at the funeral and the way you're laughing now... It makes me wonder. Riddler was a terrible person, Bruce. I don't think it's wrong to want him dead. Doesn't mean I pulled the trigger, though. Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. I, I thought he'd be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just... I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. <sighs> pinky swear. Friends for life! <laughs> and Bruce, 
friends don't plant tracking gadgets on each other. You've got my number. All right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea. We're just having a friend to chat. You calling me a liar? You shouldn't have walked in here. <laughs> that was your first mistake. And it's gonna be your last mistake. Next is your ass goodbye! Calm down, Willie. Let me help you out, huh? A bribe? I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. Don't insult me. I got standards. I don't take bribes. This cash could buy you a whole lot of medicine. Oh, well, when you put it that way... Thanks, Wayne. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, cool. They're expecting you. Uh, Br Bruce, um, wow. <laughs> one, one more thing. You can't tell anyone this. This is big. Huge. I think I'm in love. It's it's an odd feeling. At first, I, I thought I had some kind of disease. But uh, no, I, I think it's love. I am so happy, John. Deserve the best. Yeah, I'd blush if I could. So mysterious. You at least gotta tell me your name. She'll, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Almost got it. God damn it. I thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. Come on, come on, come on. At least it worked before. It, it did, I, I promise. Really. John, really? You stole this car? I know it's kind of falling apart, but it was the only thing available, you know? Besides, the newer models, they don't start so easy without a key. There we go! Don't turn around. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. Harley! Stay out of this pudding. Grown-ups are talking. Well, you got a reason I shouldn't put a bullet in your noggin? Well, if you know who I am, then you probably know I'm more useful alive. That makes sense. Sense is so boring, though. What about money, power, and influence? They bore you, too? No. Those are fun. I'm just Josh and your rich boy. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. Let's put some music on. Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. 
Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Never. And I mean, never do that again. Oh, Brucey, I was just having fun. Don't you like fun? Oh, come on, Bruce. Harley was just kidding. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You probably don't like things that go bang too much. After that sad, sad way you lost your folks. Quinnia says you're chomping at the bit to meet us. I want to get an idea why. What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? The agency is after us both. After the bombing, they've been sniffing all around Wayne Enterprises. We should work together to get them off our backs. Sounds to me like you just bring more heat. Bruce could be a real help to us, Harley. You should have seen how he took out this guy in the bar. He played him like a Stradivarius. Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushy. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? <laughs> I got it. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I asks myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. Raises all kinds of questions. I feel bad for him, you know? Coming out of Arkham all alone. He's not equipped to deal with the world. It's true. Poor old Puddin don't know a fiesta from a funeral. But there's a world full of charity cases out there. And you pick John. You got that look in your eye. The kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? You shouldn't. You can't trust anyone. Not in our line of work. Ain't that the truth? You're not what I expected. Still, you gotta show me you got what it takes to be part of our... Oh, gee, thanks, Wood. We gotta go. <laughs> what were you guys talking Get about? Here, we were talking about Chapud, about how worried we are for your well being. Oh. Bruce feels bad for you, for, you know, having such a hard time with life. Ain't that right, Brucey? Ain't that the gist of it? It's the truth. That's the old me, Bruce. The new me you won't have to feel sorry for. Oh my god! That is the best damn slushy ever. Suck on that. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. I ain't got cooties. Cross my heart. No thanks, I'm good. Suit yourself. I'm a pretend I ain't offended. I'll try some. Mm. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there.
Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level about the agency. Maybe I'll even vouch for you with the rest of the guys. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's okay, face. Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I ask for? Well, this is a complex task. There might be some bumps along the way. Nothing is guaranteed. Some things are. Like how fast I'll make you disappear if any of those bumps turn into trouble. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. Uh, Mr. Wayne, uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking, <laughs> is everything okay? Well, no risk for the weary. Uh, or for the wicked. You're all set, sir. This is Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It, is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Going up, Brucey. You do know how an elevator works, don't you? Or do you usually get your servants to press the buttons? your stop. Don't worry about your pal. He's gonna make it. As long as you behave, that is. Give me a hard time, I go back and finish the job. The same goes for anyone else who gets in the way. Capiche? Okay, okay, we'll do it your way. Just don't hurt anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's in charge. How cute. Keep it cool and no one else gets a dinger to the dome. Now buck up. We're all smiles on this crew. There you go. You're looking like your billion dollar self again. <laughs> oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? I don't believe we've met. Bruce, aren't you going to introduce us? Oh, he can't. He doesn't actually know us. Oh, 
look at her face! <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? Like I'm some kind of punchline or something? Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Your worker bees just mouth off whenever they want? I'm sorry, Harley. It won't happen again. That's for damn sure. There's no need for that. I already said it won't happen again. We'll... We'll talk about this later, Bruce. Rip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else you can do with those hands? We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Oh boy. It is getting hot in here. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not what we're doing here. We've got a job to do, remember? We'll get to it, bud. Don't get your panties in a twist. Wait here, I'll be right back with Forget you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick tock. What's the hold up? Squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. <laughs>